Part seven, musical philosophy. This is the most extensive and in-depth part of the interactive experience because now you have the opportunity and the chance to really write out your beliefs about music. So I'm gonna show you an example of what I've written out based upon my life to help you better understand how you might answer these questions. But again, there is no right or wrong. These are simply my ideas about music and I'm showing you them as an example so you can better understand how you might approach these questions. First starts with musical influences, which are who are the people who you listen to, who shape how you listen to music and what you think is good or not good. And then you're going to talk about, well, what do you take from those people? Are you going to use certain examples that they have created? Are you going to take certain instruments that they use or certain styles? Are you going to even be influenced negatively by other people? Are there people who you don't like and you say, oh, I'll never do that. Music metaphor. This is the idea, not so much like you've learned in English class, simile and metaphor, but just basically a metaphor is using one thing to give someone an idea of another thing, using one picture to give someone a picture of something else. Then what do you think music should do? What is the purpose of music to you? Do you think music is supposed to make people feel something? Do you think it's supposed to help inspire movements in the world? Do you think music is a way to connect people together? This is the same way you look at a tool, a hammer. You know what a hammer is used to do? And you can answer that question. Can you answer the question, well, what do you think music is supposed to do? And not just in general, what do you want music to do for people? And the final one is, well, what is the reason that you personally are making music? Why do you do what you do? Why are you making music to begin with? So I'll show you my answers that I filled out. My musical influences are Timbaland, Jermaine Dupri, Linkin Park, and Rodney Darkchild Jerkins. So the reason that I love all of these producers is because they, they ha all have a similar style. They, they use these hi-hats and these shakers and these triangle sounds, what I would associate with R&B and people used a lot in the 90s. And I always loved that, that the combination of those sounds and the, the, they would always make these remixes to songs and make them better than they were to begin with. So I find now that's what I take from them. I use a lot of triangles and shakers in my music because I'm trying to sound like my influences. I liked what they did so much. I wanted to take a part of that and it has created who I am musically. My music metaphor, for me, a musician is basically a magician. So when I listen to music, it's sort of like an illusion to me. When I hear a kick drum or a snare drum and they play off of one another, the thing that I hear is that in between invisible sound that they didn't mean to make. They didn't necessarily want you to hear that but that's what i hear when i hear it so to me music is like a magician musician and there's an illusion happening with the way that the music plays my ear is always listening to the in between the unseen it's like oh they didn't mean for that to happen but i heard it in between and i like that part of it so what is your musical metaphor do you see music the same as nature or as a color do you see music as food even? Do you think of music as how you think about people and friendships? So again, there's no right answer. The question is, what picture or example other than music helps you think about music? What thing makes you say, oh, when I think of music, it's kind of like, you know, a butterfly flapping its wings because there's a rhythm. There's a kind of there's a kind of rhythm pattern to it. I think of nature in the way that I hear buzzing of bees. These are questions that you're gonna to have to ask yourself and find your metaphor because it'll help you figure out what you're actually trying to do when you make music. What do I think music should do? Well, me personally, I don't think there's any point of making music unless people feel something out of this world. If I play music and people don't even recognize or notice or move and they just continue in the same emotional state, I say I've, I've wasted my time because they should be weeping or they should be laughing, overjoyed. I, I personally think music is meant to communicate 
indescribable joy. When people hear my music, I want them to either weep or con con you know, con uncontrollably laugh. They're, they're so happy when they hear it, they just can't contain themselves. And if I don't do that, I feel like I'm not doing the job that music is supposed to do. So for me, music should move you in an incredible emotional way. Finally, why do I want to make music? Why do I personally want to make music? Well, for me, I feel like I have a God-given talent and I believe I'm supposed to go into the world and I'm supposed to meaningfully put something in the world that when people feel it, they go, wow, thank you for making that. You know, I'm so glad that you followed, you know, you followed your call and that you made this because we have it to listen to now. If, we, if you wouldn't have done that, we wouldn't have it. So I think that I'm supposed to go out into the world and create things that blow people's mind, blows them away. When they hear it, they go, thank you. Thank you for existing. Thank you for making this. That's my personal drive to do this. So you have to ask yourself, what is your personal motivation? What is your why? Why do you even make music? What makes you get up and make music? And when you develop that musical philosophy, that will help you be more creative because the more you understand yourself, the easier it is to create things because you're not trying to figure out the pieces. You sit in front of the computer or in front of the instrument and it will flow out of you because your philosophy has given you the foundation for the creation that you hope to make. So I hope that you've enjoyed this philosophy of sound interactive experience. Now that you have all of your ideas and emotions in one place, the goal is for you to keep this and to reference it and to continue to ask yourself these questions about who you are philosophically, musically, because as you grow in becoming whatever it is you want to become musically, you will always have to have an understanding of who you are. And so I hope this gives you a beginning and a foundation to better understand yourself and what you believe about music and sound.